What's going on, everybody? So, let's continue with the grading companies for the month. Boom, there we go. So, as we I predicted, PSA was going to drop down from where they were at. You're talking 16%, big decrease. But there was also a decrease in SGC. Up, uh, well, Beckett went up and CSG went up. But with PSA, you know... It was due to be coming eventually to where they weren't going to sustain over 900,000 graded cards a month. Um, you know, they have to push people to different areas, and all of a sudden now, you know, you were doing ultramodern. Now you're doing TCG stuff and everything else. But there's a number still pretty impressive, over 800,000 cards graded that month. SGC still almost uh, to 100,000 mark. Beckett almost 80,000, CSG 61,000. So a lot of graded cards, a lot of graded cards. Uh, yeah, see, down 16% from record-setting March. It was. That was a high amount when they pushed out in March. Now, what I did notice, and I know I talked about this before, is nothing is moving on PSA on the weekends. So it looks like the employees are now off on the weekends. So that's going to be where it's at, you know. Now they're like, hey, they're getting comfortable. I think with the milestone of them opening bulk up out, you know, somewhere around the national, that's where they're like, hey, we're going to be good to do this. We don't need to work weekends anymore. We'll still work, you know, Monday through Friday, you know, the swing late shifts and stuff. It kind of makes sense when I'm looking at it. Um, that's my interpretation of it. I could be wrong as well, too. Uh, look at the junk wax hair card spiked to PSA, of course, because they're you know they filtered in more people on modern since ultra modern was so far being caught up. I mean, all, modern was like a month and a half difference from where ultra modern was at one point in time frame. You can still look basketball's king, followed by baseball, then your Pokemon TCG, football, non sports, soccer, hockey miscellaneous multi-sport you know and then all this other stuff down here like ufc and boxing even tickets have gone up a lot of people now getting into tickets oh that's just a prior post that just shows you the last month on 98 98 987 let's get that spit out here properly but this is always a follow-up video to the 10,000 club with the very very exclusive 20,000 club um, video that I like to do just so people have an idea with the graded piece on to it. This is all provided by gemrate.com. Got to give them the credit because they put in the work to do all this. And, you know, it's really nice to see stuff like this. There is actually, if you're on Facebook's and in the My Slabs Facebook group, somebody actually provides something like this, but they actually break down a lot of the smaller, um, Grading companies, some that I think they're defunct because they haven't updated anything in a very, very long time. And heck, we even see some of those grading companies uh, grading with other grading companies. So it makes you wonder why they're not grading their cars with their own company. But this here gives a little bit bigger picture for the month on to it. I'm sure if we really dig into this, you know, who the players were hot and stuff like that. Charizard has to be probably the hottest person out there, even though he's not in a sports card uh, piece on. So let me pull this down real quick. I'm going to check one other area on here that I forgot to pull up. My bad. Uh, I just have to think where I find it at on this website. I think it's under popular stories. I'll pull this up in case you guys have never seen it before. My bad. Sports Card Collectors Daily. They do some very good articles on here um, with all kinds of different pieces. If you ever really just need something to read because you have some free time, this stuff here, really interesting to read. really is. Oh, here's the piece we talked about the other day. Um, Partners with PSA on high-end cards. So, to include grading cards sold for $2,000 or more. So, there's the answer on to it. I want to see if they have the... This might be it. Let me see. 
So he's saying backlog should be backlogged orders three to four months. I'm saying by probably under three months. Now this was about two weeks ago. I still think under three months before the national, they'll be pretty much good. And they'll start taking bulk right afterwards. Again, I think it'll be limited, very, very limited until they get everything going on. I was trying to see if they had the piece where it normally will talk once a month about what are the hot cards that PSA has done. And I'm not seeing it all on to here. I know I'm scrolling quick here. But yeah, this stuff here, I mean, there's good articles on here. Some come out multi-daily, some every couple of days. Yeah, now we're on to Brady football. But if you guys ever get a chance, sports card, sportscollectorsdaily.com. There we go. Um, is where I go for a lot of that stuff just to read. I use a lot of it with a grain of salt because, again, it's somebody's opinion. Some of it has hard facts on which you can come to your own conclusions to and everything. But at least with the gemrate.com, uh, I enjoy looking through their stuff just to see how much we're getting graded out there. I mean, we're talking over a million cards got graded last month. That That's significant. Very, very significant when you're talking about every month we're pushing a million graded cards. Eventually, it's going to be hard to find raw cards, I think, out there. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good weekend. Um, don't know what day I'm putting this video out because I don't even know what, how many videos I've done already today. But if it's a weekend, have a good weekend. If not, have a good start of the week. Remember, overtime will be live Friday night. Uh, probably won't be on too long that Friday because I will be set up in Louisville on Saturday. So if you're in the Louisville area coming down, stop by the table, say hello. Talk to you all later.